Really? Are you surprised that that just happened? No. You're really not, and that's the worst thing of it. United taking two massive steps forward against Spurs and against City. Have we turned a corner? If we have, we've just ended up back in the same place. United losing 2-0 away to Watford, who are bottom of the Premier League, a team who had only scored four goals at home this season, have just comfortably and easily beaten United. Yes, it was down to two individual mistakes where the goals went in from De Gea, and then Wan-Bissaka finally missing a tackle, but United against lower level opposition this season. Sheffield United, Aston Villa, Crystal Palace, Newcastle, Bournemouth, Watford, Rochdale, Astana. In these games where you would expect United to show a dominance, to show a belief that we are the better team, we have failed miserably. Solskjaer, I think it's fair now to say that it's not just down to the quality of the players. And I know that's a massive factor, and I've been saying it all season long. And you saw how much of a difference Paul Popper made when he came on. We created three chances in 20 minutes. Who knew that bringing your best player on would make you a better team? But Solskjaer, question marks have to be asked about his ability to motivate these players in games where we should be the dominant team. In games where we're the underdog, in games like Spurs or City or Liverpool, in games where maybe players don't really have to be motivated that much because they already are, United are great. But in these games where United are expected to dominate, we go in on ourselves. There is no belief. And I firmly believe that's mainly down to the quality of the players. But questions have to be asked about Solskjaer now. After 18 games, I think we're on 25 points, which is the lowest we have ever had in the Premier League. And it's just constant cycles at United. Great against tougher opposition, performances, attitudes, mentality. It's all there. And then it all just crumbles. And to do that away at Watford in the, in the, the level that we did was nothing short of humiliating. And David De Gea making that mistake, that's the worst mistake he's ever made. And he's made quite a few in the last 18 months or so. His head just isn't where it needs to be, clearly. wan lunging in there when Maguire was right next to him. Mistakes. The first half, if you're looking at the actual performance itself, sloppy passes everywhere. But this game, I don't think it's... It's not about a match reaction to the game there. This match reaction is about the overall problems at United that keep resurfacing and keep coming in. And I will stand by what I said when Pochettino was available and still is available in that he has to come in in the summer. I don't think Solskjaer has ever been the manager to make United great again in terms of him being the manager that wins us the trophies. I still firmly believe that he's going to help lead this club in a better position than he is. But again today, tactically, exposed against a team which sat deep and a team we couldn't counter-attack against. We had nothing. And of course, that's down to the quality. But it's happened too many damn times this season for me to just say that it's about quality anymore. And there's going to be a massive backlash after this game. It's going to be a hugely negative reaction. And understandably, we've just lost to the team who are rock bottom of the Premier League, who were not in double figures for points this season. A team who had only scored four goals at home this season, has just beaten United 2-0. And you can beat your cities all you want, you can beat your Spurs and all you want and draw against Liverpool. But if you don't put these teams away, progress is impossible. And the same could be said if we were winning all of these games and losing in the big games. This is what football is. But just to... how consistently crap we are in these games... Worrying doesn't cover it. Humiliation is what that performance was. Paul Popper coming in shows how much we've missed him. Some of those passes over the top to Rashford, he miscontrolled it. The pass over the top to Greenwood, his effort went over the bar. We needed him all season long. And if he can come back in and show that sort of performance, and that was when he was just coming straight back in. The guy's the best player in our team. But I don't know what to say anymore about Solskjaer, about this United team, about our ability or inability to break these teams down. I've said it in so many different match reactions and I'm saying it again today after that 2-0 defeat against Watford.
Let me know what you think about that match in the comments below. But I think it's fair to say now, it's not just down to the quality of the players. It's happened too many times in too many games for it to just be down to the quality of the players. And that's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But this is going to be an ugly reaction. And it's such a damn shame after a week where we beat Spurs and beat City and a bit of positivity coming back into United. 2-0 away to Watford. All gets blown away in the wind.